behind them. They just put that for us to see and then we look at each other with suspicion so that we are not able to work together. It's a patriarchal agenda. When people say women suffer from pull her down syndrome, they make it look as if men support men all the time. Mm -hmm. Look at how many men were contesting. You know, they were at each other. Until now, they are still at each other. They call each other names. They accuse each other of very unholy things, you know, in the process. Women don't do that, you know. So we shouldn't let them put it in our heads any longer because it's a divisive statement. Women love one another. Women support one another. We can disagree just like the men do, mm -hmm. and it is okay. We shouldn't be meant to believe that we must always agree on everything at all times. But talking about the population now, yes, we have a significant population. Yes, women are always the majority at the polls. We vote. The question is, do we have the right kind of education to vote correctly? That's one thing. Are we also capable of self-determination to make choices by ourselves and stand by them without invisible power behind us pushing us towards a direction like what is the family expecting of us what are the mm, husbands expecting of us imagine like my personal example when my mother realized that i was aspiring for presidency she said oh your senior brother oh you know, he's in PDP. So why are you going to contest with him? I said, Mama, he didn't say he wants to be president. I said that. She feels I should queue behind my senior brother. Number one but is we the man, have... then two exactly. your elder. So you should stay behind. He's now the father of the family. Mm. You know, so we need to be conscious of all of these nuances that dictate to women how they channel their political agency. We must have that in mind at all times when we do the analysis because there is lots of invisible power that is pushing women in a direction and it takes a lot of work to restore self-determination to the women to restore that agency that capacity to be able to make a choice and a decision independent of what the family thinks of what the religious institutions think of what the cultural institutions think and that conditioning we have to work at it you know massively because we don't have all the time to do it otherwise the generation we work with will soon be wiped off and another 